They are the apex predators of the oceans. Thousands of sharks now being spotted in American waters each year as they move closer to shore due to warmer waters and increased food supply. Dr. Craig O'Connell has worked with sharks for most of his life. He wants to modernize the way we protect beaches from sharks, keeping swimmers safe, and the sharks too. He founded the OCs Conservation Foundation in 2013. What got you interested in wanting to research sharks? Um, it's always been a passion of mine. I saw a shark entangled in a net, and I said, how can we possibly do this to these amazing animals? How can we kill these animals to make the shoreline a little bit more convenient for us to use recreationally? He spent his career working on this, a shark exclusion barrier that repels sharks, almost like a force field. It's a big change from current technology, nets and lines with hooks and chains, used at beaches off Australia and South Africa. What's the problem with nets? Within a given year, roughly 2,500 sharks are killed, removed from the environment. But not only that, whales, dolphins, sea turtles, rays, everything that's capable of being caught on those hooks or entangled in those nets typically perishes. O'Connell has been testing his barrier in the Bahamas and Cape Cod with encouraging signs, sharks turning away. The design is a mix of both low and high tech, playing off of shark sensitivities to magnets and electricity. It's a large visual barrier that extends from shoreline to shoreline, from seafloor to sea surface, and inside that barrier are a series of electromagnets and permanent magnets as a way to selectively repel sharks. So it repels sharks, not kills them. Absolutely, it's a non-invasive, eco-friendly technology that does not kill sharks. Oh my God, look at that. That is freaking cool. O'Connell and his research team, along with student shark camp volunteers, tested the barrier last October in Cape Cod. In this footage, great white sharks turn away. He walked me through the process by setting up a smaller setup here in Montauk, New York. Right here, this is gonna be the base of the structure. This is what's gonna be against the sea floor. Up there is what's gonna be up at the sea surface. The pipes are made to compress and stretch to cover both low tide and high tide. And the pipes are white, a visible warning to the sharks. And if they dare to get even a little bit closer... As it activates, it emits an electric field. So that's our third line of defense. So it's like a shock? It's an actual it's shock. electric shock? Fins will go down, their entire body will shudder, they'll turn away, and it's a deterrent. O'Connell's team of volunteers and scientists don wetsuits and fins to assemble it in water. The final test for the barrier will be to enclose a full beach. The team travels to Cape Cod in October, high season for shark migration in the North Atlantic. O'Connell will enclose a beach for two months to see if it can fend off the big kahuna, great white sharks. If we could demonstrate works on great whites, it can withstand these big seas. This thing can be deployed pretty much anywhere. And when O'Connell tested a partial version of this barrier last October in Cape Cod, he says, get this, 18 different great white sharks approached it more than 100 times in total. And every single time, they diverted away rather than try to go through the barrier. Oh. So it's very promising so far. And they're going to do that final test in October. They're going to fully close off a beach. They're even going to chum the waters. When they test it, they throw oh, like great. sushi grade fish oh, into the water. water. Yep. Just, to invite I live there. This is in Long Island, the testing oh, yep. ground. We're, like somewhere <laughs> yep. we're gonna chum the waters of my beaches. <laughs> no, we did that even for the test that we and they're like, Brian, well, why don't you jump in? I'm like, we just put some Wait, yeah, delicious no, fish you. in there. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna hang back. Yeah. Carson's gonna like, start not swimming on my with beach. Yeah, not gonna, my beach. They're gonna throw some magnets in your swimsuit. Yeah. Brian, that was fascinating, man. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.